Hi everyone, welcome back to another love reading for you, Twin Flame, Soulmate, Soul Connections, love reading. So I will start with an oracle card and then I will continue with some tarot cards for you to see more messages. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And let's start. Let's see what's going on with Twin Flames, Soulmates, Soul Connections, anybody, anything that has to do with love. So whatever, whoever you're thinking about, we're going to tap into their energy as well as your energy. So we're going to take a look at the energy exchange between the two of you. Let's see what's going on for the collective. Clean it up. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, the message for you guys to, you need to clear out anything that's cluttered either physically or emotionally, but you need to clear and clean. Okay, I got like cards jumping and I saw clean it up earlier. That's why I said that is because um, whenever cards flip over as I'm shuffling, I do consider them because they are messages. Um, so anything that needs to be cleared out, you guys need, you guys, <sighs> I don't know why the message is coming out like this. You guys need to rest, okay? You need to release whatever it is that's really blocking you in any situation uh, in love and to find peace and you need to release and you need to sleep. Take the time to rest, you know? Taking a nap, it's not just about sleeping, it's about really just, you need to recharge your battery, some of you, and you need to find some kind of peace inside, okay? You need to um although there are things you still don't know about your situation and you might not know for a little while we're going to see what the tarot cards if we're, there are still some things you don't know but you need to really rest your mind some of you need to rest your mind i see the moon all over so so maybe something significant will be happening in the at the new moon don't forget we are now in entering the lion's gate portal which will be at its peak on the 8th of august so a lot a time for great strength and you need to rest okay it's we and we have to we have 23 24 um, so these will, uh, these energies will follow each other. Okay. You will release and then you will find peace. Okay. You'll find peace and you'll feel rested, much better rested. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look with some tarot cards to see what other messages we have for you guys. Twin flame, soulmate, they're, they're jumping today. We have the seven of swords. Cards are jumping. The energy is very high. I can feel it. The cards are popping out. We have the magician. Cards are popping out. Knight of swords. Wow. Oh, no, that's just too many. I'll take the, well, I'll take them. All right, we have the king of, uh, we have the king of swords right here. So we do have the knight of swords, the king of swords, and the two of cups, okay? Hmm. Okay. So you might have, I see some of you having options, maybe two options or more, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy all over here. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. So we do have a lot of air sign energy. So air sign being all up in, in, in your person, your person's all up in their heads, or this could be you about the situation, okay? Your person is trying to figure out, okay, or one of these people. It's just trying to figure out what to do, how to get there. They're trying to gain the strength and they gain the knowledge and possibly they are also having to release um so when we have to release it could be anything and it could be dependencies it could be 
It could be dependencies, it could be um, just people, family, friends, um, people that they have, they feel like they are not, they, 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 they feel like these people are not quite loving them unconditionally or supporting them or trying to help them um the your person here is looking is feeling lost they're feeling like i have i feel like they've i don't know why i feel with the seven of swords a person is desperately trying to find a way to um get to you to did I say two of cups earlier? Sorry, I didn't mean two of cups. Six of cups. Sometimes I see a number in my mind and it's not to do with the card and sometimes I do that. So I wanna apologize for that. If you guys see the, the card, don't just don't listen to me <laughs> if I say two of cups. But this is six of cups and this person is really, really trying to figure out a way to best come back or come back with something you know like you, this person might might not be coming back from like so long of a separation or whatever but they're just maybe coming back they want to be able to come with something substantial something concrete for you uh they want to come in with a good communication very direct and honest and not playing any kind of mind games um they're really trying to figure out what the best way for them how what's the best way for them to come forward to you and maybe fix anything that needed fixing or explaining anything that needed explaining and so but you you might have to make a choice between two people or this person really carries the energy of the swords we have the king of swords and the knight of swords now your person might also be feeling like a knight you know but they're actually a king and they really do um uh they have like uh they don't have like the best self-esteem or self-worth they are getting better though at that they're really growing into appreciating themselves and really figuring out that they, they don't need this or they don't need that they don't need these dependencies to be whole to be to be great okay to be great especially if it's a dependency that keeps them from being free so keeping them from moving on from you know some i mean somebody who is really dependent on alcohol um they lose a freedom you know they have to depend on people to take care of them or to carry them and to um yeah basically take care of them <laughs> when they get to that point right so um, they want to get to the point where they won't, um, they won't have to feel like somebody is needing to take care of them. And that's why in the previous readings, a lot of the time, um, this might not resonate for everybody, but a lot of the time, um, your person needed to release some kind of karmic uh tie so if they're releasing karmic tie to a dependency remember that it takes time and it's something for them that's really difficult it's difficult um because that's their like they're unconditional you know whatever unconditional they couldn't get from people they're got they they got it from like the bottle you know so uh it's like their security blanket kind of for some so okay let's see what else is going on with your person um but like i said i don't i only gave the um alcohol as an example of dependency but there are so many dependencies some more positive than others you know whatever is blocking uh you from moving forward could be seen as a dependency some people could you know some people could do I guess could be dependent on some things and still be productive and people don't even know it. So that's it. Okay. Not saying that any dependency is good. Any time that you have to depend on something or someone is it's not the best. It's really not. 
got to learn to depend on yourself, you know. Okay, more messages, please, for you guys. We've got the Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. <clears throat> Three of Cups. Oh boy, somebody is feeling a loss. They're feeling a loss, okay? Uh, so it could be you. Again, could be you or your person. Feel free to swap the uh, characters as you see fit in your reading. But um, the, the Five of Cups is about someone who's really feeling a loss. They're feeling a loss in this connection. They're feeling like either they're feeling like they're losing you or they're losing... You know, your person, um, after a certain time, you guys might have let go a little bit, and they're feeling that, you know, they're feeling that, they're feeling like, oh my God, where, 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 where is she going? Where's he or, or she, where are they going? Like, where are they at? I need them in my life. This is like a feeling of loss. Um, and so this feeling of loss might eventually um, trigger them to uh, find more stability within themselves, um, trigger them to heal and to find and to align themselves with what they want. Um, your person has been holding back a lot of emotion this whole time, okay? They've been holding back, they haven't been showing you anything, and now they have that feeling of loss, and they are feeling they are now or soon will be waking up to how they may have made you feel in the past that feeling of loss that you've had that you had to work through that you had to heal the feeling of rejection abandonment or just really just being at a loss about this connection they're starting it's shifting they're starting to feel in that way themselves and it's going to push them to align themselves with what they want if they do not want to lose this connection and they will move they will be communicating more openly more fiery more passionately showing you a little bit how they feel about you um a little bit you know like they can't go all out this this person it's already difficult for them to even move forward so they might um, they might you know if they do have um, intentions towards you they might uh, want to hang out you know hang out have a drink of course party a little bit maybe during a party or a get together they start to feel comfortable enough to communicate to you their passion communicate some kind of message to you Okay, so but I'm getting a lot of see. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of celebrating, a lot of hanging out here, possibly with this person, or you guys could be uh, deciding to date. You know, start to date and ha have fun, and um, yeah, there could also be a third party situation. Um, there could be, like I said, third party dependencies. Could be that. Could be another person or two or three. Or it could be that this person has tons of people around them that want to be with them and they are like not knowing what to do do they release all those people you know if there's a lot going on in your person's mind they really have to work through a lot of old past ties okay to whatever but what i'm getting here there could be a, um some kind of an issue of alcohol or just your you know your person could be drinking or you could just be at a party with them so take it how that resonates. I'm going to take my Mystic Moon cards now. Lots of messages for you guys today. Woo. I won't be back for another, I'll be back in two weeks. Oh, not, not two weeks, no, sorry you guys. Not this week, anyway. I'm not coming back uh, until, for my English videos, not this coming Sunday, the next one. So I'll start with the guidance reading for you guys. 
I still enter your names if you comment uh, on any of my videos, any, um, yeah, I put down your name and uh, you're entered into the contest. You have until noon today for this coming, this contest that's been going through this week. And um, I think I'll just, uh, it'll just be ongoing, you guys. I'm just... You go ahead and write any comments and I believe I'll be entering your name in the contest to win two uh, one of two mini readings so every week I pull out a name for some readings I don't understand why some of these are reversed oh I don't read reversals you guys and so I don't know why some of my cards were reversed okay and plus this is just Oracle deck, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see. Message for my collective. So yeah, one of the two mini readings, they're about 10 minutes each, five to 10 minutes each. Okay, another one, ooh. Lots of cards were reversed, I don't know. Somebody's been playing with my cards. Nobody touches my cards. Some do. Okay. Mute. So for some of you, there could be like right now, no communication. Your person is stuck either with other people or stuck in their minds. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Your person might have been just stuck in the past, okay? And crossroads. And now they feel like they do have to make a decision. There is a, There are cards of making decisions here, deciding, finding the right uh, strategy to move forward, and deciding on what to do. do. Do they really want to start a life with you? You know, do they see themselves in this stable life with you? Or... Do they want to go on the way that they've been wanting, the way that they've been going? Um, that's a big decision for them because the way that they've been going, it's not satisfying them anymore. They don't want that kind of life anymore. Actually, they're really sick of that life now. They're, they've gotten to the point where they're not gonna have a choice, but they're going to have to choose to move forward somehow, okay? Because it's just, um, it's getting to the, it's too difficult for them now to be able to manage um, the feelings that they have about themselves going through this, these hardships, okay? These uh, dependencies or karmic cycles. Um, it's really hurting them a lot. And it's not only hurting them, it's hurting a lot of the people that are around them. You know, family, they may have children, so they are really, um, I don't think they're gonna go back to what they were doing before, okay? I really, I don't see it. Uh, I think really they're going to have no choice but to move forward, they're at a crossroads and going back is not, it's not a choice for them. They're, they're they don't want to, they don't wanna stay there. They feel like if they stay there, they're gonna have a short life. That's what I'm getting is, I don't know. The crossroads for me is about choosing love over artificial uh, or very temporary satisfactions. Oh, that's a lot of messages, you guys. Today, I'm amazed. I'm gonna pull out an Oracle of Visions card and then I'm gonna pull a, a card for um, what your person thinks. No, yeah, what your person wants to say to you particularly, what they think and what they want to say to you. Okay, pull out one more card from here just to see what the general energy coming, okay? What's coming? We wanna know future, what's coming please in this connection? look at that just peace it's going to be peaceful it's going to be unconditional it's almost like you guys getting together it's like putting the pieces of the puzzle together 
back together. It's like missing pieces. <sighs> I have a goosebumps. It's just crazy, this card. It's unconditional love. It's, um, it's feeling peaceful. It's feeling um, at home. It's just beautiful. I really, where is my, sorry. I got to look in the book too. Um, offering comfort, healing, caring. Hold the object of your ministrations lightly in your hand, lest like a frightened bird, they fly beyond your power to heal. It's a card about caring. Whether you have a need to nurture your own soul with some quiet time or recreation, or there's someone who needs your help, this card shows that by doing everything you can to be well-grounded, you can be a nurturing spirit to help this person. This is beautiful. It's about caring. It's about the two of you caring for each other in the purest way. In the purest way. A lot of healing. You guys could be doing a lot of healing together. You know, you could both have had um, some difficulties in the past, maybe even in your childhood, and you're going to help each other heal. That's why you're coming together. Okay, message from your person, please. There is a coming together. I do see a coming together. I do see union in the future with this person, okay? So it might not resonate for everybody, but you know. That's why it's a collective. If you want a personal reading, you can book that. The information is down below in the description box. Um, I only do them through videos just like this and I send you a private link and they are wonderful, my readings, by the way. Oh, I do say so myself and um, I won't be doing any next week I'm taking next week off actually that's that's why so just taking it off it's the summer my son is with me so I'm going to take off that week I might come midweek I'm not sure I might just do a French one in the midweek um, and then I'll be back in the, on that Sunday for the personal guidance so I would do your personal reading in that week, okay? Unless I'm really bored and I really want to do your reading, okay? But um, I'm trying to, you know, like recharge my batteries. That's, that's what I want to do. I often dream of you. I often dream of you. The silence between us hurts me. And this happens when you guys, um, either your person is ghosting or you're ghosting or you're both ghosting each other. I don't know. You have impacted my life in ways you'll never know. So this is what your person wants to tell you. They dream about you. They don't like the silence when it happens. And they want to tell you that you are, you, you, you are very, very important in their lives. Okay, in their life so those are the messages you guys I hope they resonated with you please let me know in the comment section and thank you for subscribing liking and sharing and I'll talk to you guys soon take care bye bye